<clears throat> hey hey, this is Razmir Alimfi back again with another raw unedited gaming video and this time I'm playing Rust. So um, I'm going to use this time while this server's loading in. This is the one we play on if anyone's playing the game. There's not many people on it or anything. We're probably going to switch server once we get a bit used to the game for a more populated server. So um, yeah, first I want to talk about the last couple of weeks. I've been away. I was camping for a couple of weeks and I've not been back that long. So that's why I've missed a few weeks of recording. Now, I know I'm not scheduled anyway, and I don't have any um, regular uploads, but that's where I've been in away for the last few weeks. I was camping in a, and we were in a tent, and it was um, pretty, we were on pretty basic stuff, so I didn't have any, I didn't bring any laptop or anything like that with me. So I had no way of uploading. I was, we were going to vlog it actually, but we didn't in the end, just because like, it was a bit of a struggle keeping things charged up and that, and we just wanted to, kind of relax I needed the time so we chilled out and um, so when we got back I had a few quid so I've bought a few games of this included and that's glitchy a bit uh -huh. this included and it's basically um, a few games that hopefully I'll get around to recording um, mostly a lot of them are um, I need to do something quickly actually I just realized I hope I haven't shown it anything but I need to um, Options. I need to um, filter. It's not in graphics. Uh, I might be in graphics. No input. Performance. Options. Sensor nudity. That's what I need to do because I realise there's actual nudity in this game, and obviously I can't really show it on on my channel. Even though I swear I'm not really a thingy. I don't think you're allowed any sort of nudity. So yeah, I need to sense the nudity there. So save myself before I get in trouble. So yeah, that should be okay. <laughs> I'm already in armor, which is lucky. So um, I haven't created a character. That's why I think it's pretty much you start as either a default bald black guy or a default bald black woman. That's a uh, white woman. Sorry, there are the only two models I've seen. And I've got a few. I've got one game that I'm going to be playing co-op with someone else and. Um, yeah, some games that I'll just do solo if people want to see them. So this is a game that I'm... We've just started playing Rust. If you don't know, it's a big open world post-apocalyptic survival game. Where you build, um, gather, uh, fight, PvP, PvE. So there's multiple things to do. There's a lot, and it's only in alpha, which is awesome. So this game has a lot of potential. At the moment, I've had it uh, three days, four days, I think. And I love it. I am honestly really, really enjoying this game. I can see myself playing a lot, a lot of it. So, um, yeah, I've told you all it is. So I'll basically quickly show you around. And this is so. This is my little house um, decorations. You build um, basic first. It's like thatched, you know, like thatched roofs. Um, excuse me, a bit of gas. <laughs> oh, um, it's thatched roofs. So. Um, it's like hay basically it's like a hay house or straw house it's really weak and you've got to upgrade it so you've got to gather stone to make it stone um, wood to make it wood and the highest which some of my houses this side of it is at the moment is metal so you've got to gather a lot of metal so there's beds in this for some reason you can't actually I don't think you can even sleep in I think you can respawn in them this is a research table you use it to research I'm not 100% sure yet so you, you put things in there and then you can research it. Not every item is researchable. So, um, I, and you find these resource papers. Make you make research papers, not resource. Sorry, and they basically allow you to research things. And I don't know what that does yet, so I haven't actually used it. So, hmm. this is um, a tool cabinet. Excuse me. There goes the police. Um, this is. I don't know if you heard that, but it's basically pretty close to the house. Um, yeah, this is a tool cabinet. It's kind of like if you play Minecraft, if you play um, uh, faction servers, you put down signs or you put down blocks that protect your area. This kind of works like that. It doesn't protect your area. You can still be PvP'd, but you authorize to be builded to build in the area. So no one else, apart from like there's three of us playing in a little group, they can build here. Apart from that, you need to be authorized to um, build. So basically this game you start off pretty primitive but there's, it does upgrade pretty well like you have electronics, you have guns, weapons, there's a helicopter that flies around. Uh, these are water barrels, 
they just store your water you can collect um, rain water from outside and fill up these this is a furnace um, similar to Minecraft you smelt it you can get um, metal fragments from metal ore which basically is used for building and you use wood to burn it and um, you can get charcoal and you can cook food in them uh, yeah, as I was saying, like you can see, my building's kind of half upgraded at the moment. Like you start with the straw stuff. I've looked, I've got bits that still are wood, like this, and you basically use a repair hammer, which I have in my thingy. That's a barricade. This is the building. I'll show you the building thing as well in a second. So this is a repair hammer. And you see, it goes green. You right click, and you can upgrade if you've got the materials. I can't at the moment. One for the simple reason, for some reason, it's blocked. I think it's because I've put stuff on it, it won't let me thing, so which is kind of annoying. But you can do um, this if you thingy, you can do forward slash remove and then click on items and remove them. So I'm not going to do that. You do get them back, you have to pay a little bit of wood, but you get the item back in that. So, yeah, there's a lantern which you can light, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've got this on um, the second highest graphics quality thing, I think, I believe. So uh, yeah, I've got some lights in here as well, you can see. I've gathered pr a lot of stuff, so I um, hope it's not too dark, because I actually s came on in the middle of the night. And, oh god, oh god, god, god. That's not even lit, and it still hurts. It doesn't even have um, fuel in it, or, or wood. That's odd. So yeah, that's the thing, and this is the building plan, so you kind of choose, like this when you're building a your house, you choose a foundation, and place the foundation. They all clip together like you're building in. Um, oh, what other game has snapping? Like kind of like Fallout. If you play Fallout, New Vegas, when you're building in the settlements, you can snap walls together, etc. Let me try and get a wall. So you have to bring it around, click on that. So you see the wall there? It automatically snaps into a snap point. So yeah, the building is pretty decent actually for a early thingy game. It's pretty good. Um, I've got some ammo, some weapons, I've got a pickaxe, you collect, I'll show you the outside when I've, when it lightens up a bit. Uh, guitar, you can kind of just run around playing a guitar. Um, barricade and stuff, you build a lot of defences. I've got a gun, I found a gun pretty. There's a really cool place, I'll show you it, it's like a place um, near me. So these are, you can see the signs up as well, which are pretty random. All my signs, I don't know what anything done, but it's really cool you can actually just literally come on here and paint signs which is I think pretty awesome so there's three types of servers on this game um, there's the official ones then there's um, community ones and then there's ones like this which have mods so this one has mods so you can TP to your friends which just makes it easier which is the reason one of the reasons we came on it so like we play H1Z1 and jump on and it's really hard to find each other so this had a few little mods like that that made things easier for social play. Uh, water, you collect water and stuff, um, and that's food and drink, which is important. This you can see in the bottom right, you have a health menu, a health bar, a hydration bar, and a hunger bar. Um, there's random bits. You can see CCTV cameras, which you have to do something with. You have to build them, I think, to get it working. I'm not 100% sure. Um, gun mods torches this is all um, resource stuff like for building so when you want to build you have all this in your inventory and you open up this crafting menu and you can see there's a pl plenty to build there's a lot to build and then you unlock new items once you've got a certain level you unlock these items but you have to buy them with your XP so you see I've got 71 XP at the moment say I wanted to get um, a lantern 10 XP it's unlocked that is now in my building thing so when I got the thing, I can build lanterns. So it's pretty cool, pretty detailed, like a lot to craft at the moment. Oh, I'm gonna unlock that as a med pack. Might come in useful. You need med syringes and fuel. So which I have got I think in one thing. So I should show you some of my other um this is my weapons crate. A couple of melee weapons, a camera, which is kinda cool, you take pictures and it automatically like screenshots to Steam. Which is pretty nice. This is stuff for building again. It's um, a couple more picture frames there, which I haven't put on um, window frames, other signs. I'll show you some of the different signs outside. You got this is a large sign, um, and their picture frames, them ones, all these ones are painted things. So, yeah, again, it's completely random. Our signs at the moment, we haven't really planned much. 
Um, and more signs. These are road signs, which are really awesome. More window staff, bits and pieces. So let me look outside. It looks like it's... Quite a few people around, so... There's 12 people online at the moment, so... I'm on my own, so I'm kind of worried about going out. I've got decent armor, so I'm hoping that a lot of people... But you can see at the bottom left corner, you see my levels there. XP as well. You, you do that, you get that by crafting, gathering, killing, every hunting, whatever. You can also see the bars. I'm not sure the first one means. The little two people thing to the right of the XP bar. Um, 1250 is how many players online. This is quite a small server, like I said. Uh, the seds are sleeping. There's 50 players sleeping. Basically, when you log out... Your character actually sleeps, falls asleep on the ground. So you have to log out in your house to be kind of safe. You can still get... Um, still a chance you can get raided and destroyed. But your safest bet is to hide somewhere very well. Although outside you can get killed by bears. Or... Um, or... Um, get in your house. That is a, always a good idea. Um, yeah. Um, oh yeah, next to that is the aeroplane. Basically when that lights up, it means there's an aeroplane in the air, which drops supply packages, which can get you all sorts of armor weapons. Um, all stuff like that, armor weapons, ammo, food, whatever. Um, we've got a couple, they're not amazingly good. You can actually loot other places just as much. Um, the last two. The second last one is um, a helicopter, attack helicopter, which comes in and it's really, really fucking annoying. Excuse my French. It, um, we were literally just sitting building yesterday. This thing flew over, fired rocket launchers at us, destroyed one of our houses, and killed us all multiple times. And it hung around where we were for about 10 minutes and just wouldn't leave us alone. <laughs> literally just killed and killed us over and over again. We kept respawning back and trying to hide. And yeah, we didn't have any, I think we didn't have a rocket launcher or anything to kill it, so it was a struggle. Um, and the last one is something to do with radiation. I know we get anti-radiation pills. I think I had some in... I have some on me? Yeah, I got some on me. Anti-radiation pills. So I don't know if it's a radiation storm or a cloud or some sort of radiation that comes over the map. So I'll turn this light on. I want to bring you outside and show you outside. But I think it's... I don't know how much you can see at the moment. I can grab a torch and light up. But the only thing about that is people around... Looks like it's starting to light up now. Yeah, so I might be able to bring it outside now. Hope, yeah, luck like that. That is lighting up pretty well. I've got it on the second highest graphics. I think I may have mentioned it. I've got it on the second highest graphics setting. So I may actually just switch it. Oh, no, actually, I may have switched it up already. Let me just show you like the graphics setting. So... Oh no, yeah, I've actually switched up, so I'm on the highest graphics. Pretty much everything set up, except for them two things. Not 100% sure what them two do, so if anyone wants to let me know, any of my four viewers want to let me know. Um, yeah, I'll show you. So the, here's the door. This is a metal sheet door and a number pad with a code on it. So I don't need to enter the code every time, but anyone else trying to get in would need to enter the code. So I'll show you outside a bit. Um, we have a little campfire there with a water purifier so the water comes into that and purifies it over the fire um, we have these are just target practice things literally um, yeah we got built some defenses this is not amazing base we've not got like we're not unbeatable so we have random signs again very random signs uh, we got a secondary building here Which I kind of planted all our seeds at the start. And never realised um, we were going to build here and forgot about it. And then built our house over where... Literally over where all our seeds were. Again, we have some random side. We haven't done anything much with these yet. We've got some defences. You stick these on the windows. Makes it a bit more secure. There's something over there. There's something over there. I might go and hunt that. Oh, look, it's not even half upgraded this building is. So this is our other player, Link's official. 
I usually link him on my account so you may know him he's more of a youtuber than I am he actually updates quite regular and um, knows what he's doing when it comes to YouTube he does a lot of editing and stuff like that so he's more pro I think it's gone over there so I need to watch other people because like I said I'm on my own and this is um, our third person Chris who's not actually a youtuber anymore but he is planning because we are me and him are going to be playing um, me and him are actually going to be playing Resident Evil 5 co-op which could be fun You find these barrels, look, there's a pumpkin. You hunt, where's he gone? There you go, I killed a stag. And I can come over with the uh, axe and for some reason I've got chicken breast there. You see on the right what you get from it. And yeah, I got chicken breasts from a stag, so I don't know if he was a me eating stag that at a chicken. Who knows? So I'm gonna reload my gun and get ready. This is PvP server so far because when we usually come on, there's only been one or two people on. So um, we haven't had much problem with PvP. The people that have been on with us, um, one guy is actually chatting at the moment. Meth something, whatever his name is. He seems cool. He we haven't fought him. We've just been chatting with him a bit. Um, and a couple of other people started yesterday that were new, so they didn't want a PvP. I'm much more of a PvE player. I much prefer PvE. I'm not a big so gather some chocolate there. I'm not a huge um PvP to be fair. Um not that I dislike it. I don't dislike it. I kind of like PvP sometimes. But I do suck. I am really bad at PvP. And that's not the reason I don't play it. I just I just prefer environment PvE games. I prefer easy games as well. Uh, I'm, I'll see if you can see now at the bottom left the chopper symbol has gone red, which means there is a chopper in the air now. So I need to be where. And I'm at a landmark area. So I need to be careful. Likelihood is there will be people around here. I can't get in this door. <laughs> I can't struggle with the struggles of life to get in the door. Oh god, I hear the chopper. If you can hear it, it's above me. I want to try and get around, but I don't want to make this video too long. I am very wary of this. It does kill you so quickly. Oh wow, I just <laughs> how bad my little spot was. No roof above me. There's usually a box of um, supplies in here, but obviously now more people on, so. tell how close it is that's the annoying thing I don't know how the yeah, it seems to be after someone someone said uh, it's usually after me
No, I saw it there. I knew it. I knew it. Just got away from it again. This thing hates me. Hates me. This thing absolutely hates me. Well, a few people are logging off now, so I don't have to worry as much about. Um, I think it's, this is going to be a pretty long video, actually. It's probably one of the longest, so. But I, I do want to show you a little bit more. I need to take um, any food I can eat. I'm going to eat a bit of chocolate just to. Up my stats a little bit, up my health a little bit more. Sounds like it's a bit further away now. These are loot crates here. Some shelves, a little grenade, useful. And then um, anything useful here. Another crossbow. I'll take it. A water barrel. I've got most of this stuff already. That's the water problem. Well, not a problem, but I don't actually need it. Some more arrows. That is always useful. Some more radiation medicine. And these are also loot crates bit different to the other ones was there a sheet metal double door that might come in handy and a high velocity arrow and I'll take this wooden barricade so yeah this is basically looting and then I can go like this home main you go to your home teleport me in 30 seconds um, Risking it by going outside, but yeah, it's gonna be. away from me again. I am gonna stay out of its way. Throw a few of these in there. This is the barbed wire. Some the barricade there. An extra door. Set of shelves. Another barricade. So yeah, anyway, it's been a bit quiet again, I've been a bit, my usual, not very attentive, I'm just like kind of getting things done as I'm talking, but I'm Resmet Limphy, and this is Rust, so if you want to jump on this game, play this game, do, it's cool.